Hey, this is Buck Paladus. Thank you for joining me for episode 11 of my Rich Explorer playthrough. And this is coming out on Friday. I don't know if I'll have any time to do any videos from now until Monday. Um, we shall see. The stream is still on, however, uh, on uh, on Sunday night. Night for me, anyway. 20.30. That's 8.30 p.m. British summertime. That's GMT plus one and UTC plus one if you can join. That'll be fantastic. All right, let's take stock. So we, in the last episode, we captured Campbell and Hicklin from the, the mech infested uh, ancient danger down here. Took out the mechs without much bother and um, these guys spilled out of their caskets. Four of them were dead. Two of them we captured. We patched, well, we didn't capture, we rescued them. We patched them up and they both decided they didn't want to join our little happy bands. No, I'm not having that. Especially since we use some glitter oil medicine on Hicklin. <laughs> So, uh, so we captured them. Um, Flanker has got inspired uh, recruiting, so he's going to talk to Hicklin now, and she will uh, join. Sorry, he will. She no, he he will join us on the first attempt, which is fantastic. Campbell, meanwhile, has got a resistance of eighteen, but the recruitment's quite high. So as soon as the resistance breaks, Campbell will join us as well. Both the stats are pretty good. Beautiful brawler. Hicklin has joined us. Fantastic, and Hicklin is sanguine, sanguine. And ascetic, ascetic. I don't know how to pronounce this. Ascetic or ascetic? How would you say it? I'd probably say ascetic. Anyway, so I don't know. We'll let Hicklin find a bed. <laughs> that could be easier said than done. Do we have any spare beds? I'll never really worry about beds before we don't. Okay, we need to go and build another couple of beds, like post haste, I think. And also maybe expand my rec rooms down to here. These graves are always in the wrong place. Just the one grave containing Gordon the monkey. We may have to exhume Gordon and move these graves. Let me just take care of that now. I'm going to put the graves in a nice little quiet corner of my of my area here. Let's um, no, not expand. I'm going to create a zone here for uh, for a garden for these guys, but I, I won't do that now. I'm just going to deconstruct these and we'll move Gordon post haste. Meanwhile, we're going to make a couple of beds uh, for. The, the new recruits to be. I'm going to put that one there. Yep, that looks good. So Hicklin has joined us. Just a quick look at Hicklin. Sanguine ascetic. Melee of eight. Intellectual ten. Ah, that's interesting. So who else we've we got researching? Currently Enthusia at 13. There are quite a few intellectuals. I like it. Uh, hmm. Well, you never need to go near it. Um, Daichi, six. Never goes near it. Just kind of these guys, really. So let's have a quick look at Hicklin. Let's see what they're good for. So mining is probably where we're going to excel. Mining and plants, I would say. Crafting's good as well. Oh, yes. Mining, plants, crafting. That's what we're going to do with Hicklin. So mining's a two. Uh, crafting's going to be two. And growing will be a two as well. And then we'll leave everything else at um, at three. That makes sense, I think. Okay. That looks good. He's always going to have something to do anyway. So Hicklin, welcome. Um, it looks like we're going to have to increase the tailoring and also the bill on here to make flak vests. Three, six. We've got ten people now. Let's make sure crank that up to ten. Um, and also probably simple helmets as well. Do you want to have ten? Count equipped. Um... Yeah, and count 51, because they're going to take it off at 50. So that works. Yep. So we'll have um, we'll have Hicklin into um, some armour shortly. We do need to make a duster for them as well. Let me just cue that up. Where's the bench here? So make duster. Now, just out of interest, what good leathers do we have? Blue fur, light leather. Do we have 80 of anything which is remotely armoury? We don't, do we? That's a shame. Heavy fur. We need another nine heavy fur. If we could grab... I don't want to make it out of that. Is there any... Is there a mega... Oh, there we go. That'll top it up. Sorry, Mr. Mega Sloth. You are on the menu. We need you to make dusters out of... Sorry, bud. So we're going to go and hunt the Mega Sloth. We're all going to go. Uh, we're going to arm Hicklin with a melee weapon. We may have to make one. Yeah, we'd have a melee weapon worth a... Worth a button, quite honestly. Some grenades. Now... If I remember correctly, oh, porcupine's on it. He's 
Right, Porcupine's doing the long sword. That's right. Porcupine's craft skill had to be five. That's why it hasn't been done already. But it is now. Just. So wait for the long sword. Meanwhile, we were going to take everybody else, I think, and go and hunt the Mega Sloth. I won't take any risks. I'm sure I could probably do it with less. I'm not taking. I'll take these guys. Simply because I don't want to take any risks. Any silly mistakes could lead to a spiral. Hickling can stay and get dressed. Porcupine is making the longsword for Hicklin, so that works. Everybody else can come down, and we're going to attack the Mega Sloth. I'll be right back. So we started the attack. These things can take a hell of a beating. Look at that, and it's still on its feet. <laughs> That's insane. Absolutely insane. I, f I feel a little bit bad about this, but this will... He, he will not die in vain. His meat and his fur will go along a very long way to feeding and protecting our colonists. There we go. Alright, thanks everybody. Uh, there's nobody bothering to haul. Flanker, you can Oh no, Yumi's on it. Okay, where's Yumi? Oh, she's butchering. So what? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, cool beans, cool beans. That's good. So I'll let these guys carry on. Now, do we need anything else to get um, Hicklin dressed and not be nude? No, she's picked up some pants, t-shirt. It's all pretty rubbish stuff, though. Yeah, we could do with uh, improving improving that for her. So I'll let Porcupine make the sword. I'll get her equipped, and then we'll carry on. Now, the next thing we need to do is do this caravan. I mentioned a caravan yesterday to sell off some of our junk. Um, so what I'll do is I will... What's, what's Hicklin up to? Hicklin, stabby stab, healing. Why are we taking Hicklin? All right, I'll get the caravan set up. We'll decide who to take, and then we will be right back. Oh, yes, before I forget, thank you for all the people who supplied me with explorer names. Leandro, Brady, Aging, Chris, Rolf, Pentiment, and Yora. Um, thank you for the, the names. Aging Chris suggested Henry the Navigator. <laughs> I had to Google that, because I thought that might have been a wind-up, but apparently not. Apparently it's a real, a real person, so thank you for that. I think because um, I was going to do um, Lewis and Clark, but they haven't come as a couple. We got. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll rename Mayor One to Lewis, who I if I remember correctly did, didn't. There was something to do with um, exploring uh, the US, USA, I believe, and our Packer One could be Clark, because why not? I'm not sure if it's Clark with an E on the end. I think it is. Okay. Our uh, our animal population is uh, burgeoning quite nicely. And in the morning we're going to do a trade caravan. So I was just deciding who to take on the caravan when we've got um, two rhinos have um, gone a bit mad and they want to attack. So that's uh, interesting. Okay, well, let the, uh, the nice skin and the meat come to us. But I don't take any chances. Uh, let's get... I don't really need the turret, honestly speaking. I think we've got enough here to deal with the situation, if I'm being quite honest. Let's come out and meet them. So the rhinos are going to come up through here, probably, up to here, up to here. So where should we meet them? Well, honestly, they're going to come to me. Nice open ground. I'll need to make sure that all my people are in. Just out of interest, how's the tree going with its grass? 19. I need another 3. So sidelink level 5 or 6 is 22 grass. That's going to be epic. All right, here come the rhinos. Da, 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 da. Coming this way. Okay, let's arrange our people then. So we want the people who are going to melee at the front. And the people who are not going to melee at the back. These LMGs, the sooner I can get rid of them, the better. They are so inaccurate. It's not even funny. Actually, Zika, she can stay there. Right, I need you to focus fire, because this could actually get a bit messy otherwise. Um, yeah, you will focus fire on this one. That's a lot of rhino. Okay, you guys get stuck in. I need you guys to kill this dude as quickly as possible. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I forgot. <laughs> Porcupine's got some skills. Let's... Um... Should have voted to go past earlier, really, shouldn't I? Oh, no, 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 no. They, they've wandered into the Vertigo Pulse area now. Tickling, just take a hit. Right, everybody shoot this thing fast. That'll do. Do anyone take any damage from the Rhino? 
Ouch. Right, Hicklin's back down again by the looks of it. Looks like it picked on Hicklin. Those things are nasty. All right, so they must be hunted. Everybody can go. Oink. Excellent, excellent. So we've we've got enough um, Mega Sloth skin now to make two dusters, and we have uh, enough Rhino skin for potentially one, maybe two. I don't know how much. Of, oh, definitely two. We've got two Rhinos, haven't we? Yeah. How much? Um, how much does that yield? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, eighty-one. We have exactly enough for, for well, just over enough for one duster. And the second with another one, so that's really nice. I just need to go away and check if Rhino Skin is better than Heavy Fur, which is what the Mega Sloths give off, and I'll be right back. So it turns out that um, Rhinoceros Leather is slightly better against Sharp Armor and has... Um, sorry, <laughs> Sharp Penetration, and has the same armor, um, otherwise uh, armor modifier, uh, as Heavy Fur. So there's not much in it, quite honestly. So we'll kind of go with what we got, but... It's still good to have that that there anyway. Right, let's let's get this caravan sorted, um, and we are going to go from the mission. Hicklin's getting tended. She's been tended already. Sorry, he's been tended already. Fantastic. Right, let's get this caravan sorted out. We've got quite a bit of plastic and stuff to sell, which could be interesting. That came from the um, the raid. One hundred and five. I might take that with me. Don't have any direct use for plastic just yet, but we shall see. Uh, that is from the Rex. The the Mex. The Rex. The Mex. Even not the raid. I knew what I was talking about. So I just had the sad incident where a lynx was hunting Clark, um, who was sleeping. Lynx is a fast. Now, Flanker was cooking and Porcupine was just up here. By the time he got to lynx, uh, the lynx had already killed um, Clark with one bite. Sorry, Clark. Your life here was um, short and painful. Lynx is dead, though, as a result. So it sucks to be you. Hmm. Anyway, onwards. The yeah, caravan's packed up and it's on its way. So the caravan has arrived and to my surprise they actually have people for sale. I didn't realise you could, um, or maybe I did but I forgot <laughs> that you could buy people. Now these two are quite interesting. You've got Kate Gymnast, she's 15 so she's um, health is brilliant, she's very young. Um, fast learner, fast walker, fast learner 75%. That's amazing. Now minus six permanently. It's not so great, but these two are really good. Yeah, she doesn't start with much, but 75% learning speed. Ooh, no burning. Mm, I don't know. And you've got Christoph, the leader, or a leader, faction leader. Uh, can't do artistic or cleaning. He's psychically hypersensitive, but they, do, they are selling a um, psychic foil helmet, which would help. Psychopath and a hard worker. Again, we don't really need somebody else who's good at social. We need people who are good at construction and crafting, really. So I'm going to probably say no to both of those. But other than that, we've sold a whole load of stuff. And we've um, we've taken... We've bought a couple of things here, notably Psychic Fall Helmet, an Insanity Lance, and a Jump Pack. This is going to be super helpful. Now, the other things they've got for sale here, which I think is quite interesting... Where are they? In terms of weapons, I think we'll leave it. Masterwork Assault Rifle is very tempting, but I just... Oh, EMP grenades. I'll grab those while, while, while I'm here. Um, now, what's the other thing that I saw? Where are they? The Psycast. Here we go. Word of Trust. That could be quite useful for uh, reducing um, their uh, prisoner's resistance. So that's going to be quite timely. Berserk. Psytrainer Berserk. That could be quite useful to have somebody else but no one's up at that level yet so i'll probably come back and buy this another time skill training medical always very useful i'll probably grab that as well so that is 1639 we did bring some cash with us good job really but i think that that trade has actually worked out really well got some really useful kit so i think we'll come back with that not not wanting for people neither of these are really outstanding particularly so i think we will just go with what we've got so yeah that's not a bad trade and i'll send them back again so we now have 20 grass at the Anima Tree. It's telling me that I can upgrade Porcupine to level 6, according to this. Now, I thought I needed 22. So that's interesting. All right, where is Porcupine? She's over by the tree. She's actually over by the tree. So can I, can I actually... Well, well, well. Okay. That, hmm. I thought I needed 22 grass. 
So I need the same amount of grass for the first level as I do the sixth level. No, hmm. Okay, maybe that's been changed. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll begin the linking ritual. Suits me. Good. Well, well, we'll see what Porcupine ends up with. That can be very interesting. So she's just about to finish her linking ritual. Let's see what we get. All right, so level six. Very nice indeed. And we've got Skip Shield. Generates a spherical skip gate that sends all incoming outgoing ground level projectiles to some distant place. People and items are not affected. Well, that's not the most... It's not the greatest level. Um, the greatest sidecast at level six. Never mind. It will come in useful. Probably more as a kind of last ditch defensive measure. If you can't fire out of it, then it's going to be quite niche. But I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Okay. It could be worse, I, I suppose. Mechanoid cluster. All right. What have we got? A psychic suppressor affecting males. So what have we got here? We've got a couple of turrets. Okay, that's interesting. A couple of turrets and a pikeman and a lancer. All right. That's not in the worst place. Initiates in 13 days. Right, so we've got a little bit of breathing room. Now, these turrets are particularly badly placed. I don't think that turret can hit down here. So we come in through here and scooch around. And <laughs> there we go. I can I can bring, bring here, bung that skip shield down here so it can't fire at us. Come around to here. And we'll actually come around to here, potentially. Just shoot at it from here. Yeah, that works. That works. That's easy. That's that's not, not a big deal. That's interesting then. So that actually wakes up these guys in 1.6 days. And this that initiates in 13 days. Alright, that's fine. No bother. No bother at all. We, we can deal with that relatively easily. Oh, I see. We've been ambushed by a group of two tribes who were from the Marulo Nation. They would attack and they should give them a skill train and medical. Hmm... Give and pass or refuse and fight? I wonder what I should do. Oh, refuse and fight, of course. <laughs> Come on, then. Come and have a go if you think you're tribal enough. The two of you with bows and arrows. Okay. Well, this should be relatively short and sweet. We don't have any melee fighters, but that's okay. We'll let them come to us. I'm going to do this. Let's have a quick look at what we've got here. We've got shooting zero and shooting four. Okay. Well, what I intend to do is get into cover. I don't normally like stand-up fights, but I don't have any uh, any kind of magic or side casts or anything. So it's just going to be a stand-up fight by the looks of it. Yumi's got quite a long range. Now, let's check out the ranges quickly, just so I know what I'm dealing with. They are short bows, and that's a short bow. So the range on these, uh, oops, hang on a minute. Let's look at it this way, short bow. So the range on a short bow is um, 23. Sort rifle outrange it. The charge rifle, probably not. Oh no, it does. Okay, fine. So they're probably gonna take cover here. Probably here, I would say. So Yumi's got the range. You've not got the range. Oh no, they're coming up. That's interesting. Let's move to there. Ah, oh, they're coming to here, aren't they? It's one down. What? Why are you shooting the... Huh. Oh, who hit the boom blob? Is that me? Oh, bottoms. That's definite bottoms, that is. Hmm. LMGs, man. <laughs> they suck so hard. It's not... Oh, oh no, it's all of them. Uh-oh. <sighs> this is not good. This is not good. Can I get off the map? See, this is where RimWorld can just failure cascade. Is it all of them? It's all of them. Oh my good grief. All right, how fast are they? 3.4, 4.49, 4 4.4, 4.8, 4.2. Yumi can potentially get off the map. Damn boomlopes, man. I 
I need to do some research. I'll be right back. Okay, we can't exit the map until this dude is down. The problem we have is that these guys are nearer to us than they are to this chap. So he can just literally sit back, crack out the popcorn, and watch us all die. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the animals involved here. I am going to zone the animals to area 1. And get the animals to come to sort of here. Because I suspect this is where they need to be. I'll get Anthusia to hold her ground because she's in cover. If these guys cook off, I don't want Anthusia to get hit as well as Randolph. You meanwhile, is going to flank round depending on what this guy does Yumi's going to flank round and try and get some shots I mean what's his to hit oh wow behind a lot of cover but this guy's not a very good shot we need to get rid of this guy it's one extra thing that we don't need to be dealing with they're going to take some burns now an explosion won't kill them I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to split the horses. So we'll get, expand that area, manage areas, new area, area two. We'll expand area two to there, and we'll get one of the horses to be in area two. So he's going to go down and try and take this trap out. Meanwhile, Yumi is going to fire at this guy and try and blow them up at a distance. Now he has to try this. Good. Right, he's down. Yumi now needs to be firing at this one. Okay, stop firing. Wills, are you going... Are you, oh, he's fleeing. Why are you fleeing? Did you get shot? No. Okay. I need these guys not to blow up anywhere near my guys, including the horses. Where are my three horses? I've got one, two, three. Lewis is wandering. Okay, why would you be doing that? All right, let's set up another zone. Expand that area, manage area, new area, three. Expand that area, area three, come there. Lewis, you're in area three. Right, so we've got one in area one. This, not really, not playing ball really, is he? Right, don't fire at him. And you should be firing at him. Oh, Enthusia's down. Damn it. Oh, Enthusia's up. Excellent. I didn't actually realise that she was wearing the jump pack. That makes life easier. Right, they got hit with a headshot. Uh, nose. Okay. He's going to blow up. The horse is taking on that one. The horse is not taking on these two, though. Right, that's area one. Let's move area one down to here. And hopefully the horse will attack this guy now. Right, that's another one down. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Anthusia, you are now... You are now clear. Yumi is just not having a 7% chance of hitting this dude. It's not happening. What is the problem with hitting this dude? Can I improve it at all? Weapon weather. Oh, it's foggy. Of course. Cover 45%. Weapon 67. Shoot to 50 Okay, maybe I can flank. I'll have to flank. Okay, Randolph, are you doing anything? Attacking, attacking fire on Boomlope. They're all down. Right, Boomlopes are down. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get, right, let's move all the horses off. Animals to, let's forcibly move them out of here. So animals to area one. Zone, expand loud area, area one. You guys can come up here. Clear loud area, area one. Clear two, clear area three. So the horses should move. This one's on fire, unfortunately. I need you guys to move. Randolph, get the hell out of there. Brilliant. Out of harm's way. Now, what's your chance of hitting Yumi? 7.6. 
and Yumi. 18%, so you haven't got so much cover anymore. Still not great. Let's move you down again. Alright, Enthusia. Cloud watching. Yeah, that's cool. You relax, my friend. Uh, what I need you to do, however, is jump over to here. We put down these chances. Did Yumi just get hit? Yumi did just get hit. Son of a diddly. Probably better cover behind rock than a tree. Alright, these guys are burning out. Randolph can hit. Randolph can hit. There we go. I should... Do you know what the moral of this story is? Always bring a melee fighter with you, which I haven't done. My bad. Hmm. Uh, what's the pain? Severe. Pain. Severe. Pain little. Okay. Alright. Cool. Let's get out of here. Could take these, um, the Boomlo corpses with us because they won't rot by the time we get back. How are the horses doing? Okay. Right, let's get caravan back up. They'll they'll get um, they'll get repaired and healed and all the rest of it on the road. And Thuja, meanwhile, because she's got bloodlust, she's like, yeah, love it. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's get back on the road. That was harder than it should have been. Damn boom lopes, honestly. All right, well the caravan is heading back, and we are going to leave it there. We're at time. That's curiously echoey. Sounds echoey. Doesn't matter. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. As I said, this is probably going to be the last episode now until uh, Tuesday, but it will give people a chance to catch up, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. And if you can join the stream on Sunday, that would be much appreciated. In case you missed it earlier, it's uh, 8.30 p.m. BST. That is uh, GMT plus one, UTC plus one. Hope to see you there. Otherwise, this is Bug. Put in the plug.